my own self in. Thanks. What is up, everyone? I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Uh, we are. I'm looking for a Tweety. So. In momento. Here's some. One some. So let me make sure. Something. Oh, yeah. There it is. What's up, Lisa? How are you today? Hello, Sophia. How are you guys? I'm just trying to set up my this so I can see what y'all are talking about. Hey, Marcy. Hey, TG. How are y'all doing today? We build out the gold a little bit, but I like the gray. That shiny. Mm -hmm. That looks so fun. That's so good. Thanks, Mubby. Looks okay. So, hey, Shane. Let me get you guys more in here. Ugh. All right. Hey, Kim, Shelly, Mike, Pamela, other Shelly. So. Oh, thank you. Um, that one I did actually this morning. Is it the new one? Yeah. So I made it a little more rounder, took this, moved it, and then shrunk it a little bit so that there would be more, more surface smooth. area. Yeah. Um, no, this one is, I did this one this morning to try to get a handle on what one of the clients that wanted all those marble pieces. Um, yeah, I would have gone live, but I was very concerned about nailing the piece. And I still considered this a failed it in terms of the, the reference photo. But if you guys want me to do more ink stuff, I will do more ink stuff with y'all. So this is Jeff's new shape for the freeform geos. I started peeling this off and then I thought, mm, what if there's someone that hasn't seen these before? So we have these on our website, artistsoldat.com. Happens to be on our handy dandy gloves. But I am. And um, so it comes with this paper on both sides. It's not actually brown. And you just peel off one side and then you can paint it or pour on it or do whatever it is that you do on it. And then after it's cured, you, or dry or whatever it is that you do, uh, once it's set, you just peel off the other side and there's no cleanup. And that, my friends, is what life is about. No cleanup. I didn't know that I would value that as much. As an adult, I use that term loosely. But yeah, the idea of no cleanup, take all my money. So today I'm going to do inks for you guys on this new shape. And what I'm going to be using, I believe, DJ71, Joe, and everyone else. Uh, if you're new, what's up? Welcome. Uh, I'm Erica, Jeff's over yonder, and Bowie, the studio pup, is a begging tutor for a French fry. B, what size are these? 
I'll get a size measurement in a moment. But um, we're artists till death. We go live every day, usually. Usually at 6 central. I'm early today. Uh, except for on Tuesdays, it's at 2 p.m. central. It's usually resin. It's always art, and it's always a good time. So welcome. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. If you have subscribed, just double check. Make sure because um, YouTube likes to unsub people from my channel. Which is so rude, but it is what it is. Hello, Teresa. Thank you for the reminder to hit the like, share, comment, and subscribe, Pamela. Uh, I just realized that I need a brown. So I'm over in my... Maybe I don't need a brown. Let's just do dark gray. How about that? Cool. I agree. Just need a it. Ugh. Gold. So I'm going to use a natural gray that has a brown tone to it anyways. And this will be my outside edge. TV, I'm so jealous of your Key West trip. That looks so fun. Hi Hannah from Fort Worth. That's not far. Uh, these are laser cut, uh, but we do also make them, uh, ourselves with a laser. First things first, you got to mix up. Kim, as soon as Jeff comes from wherever he is, I'll let you know what size this is. So this gold is from Jacquard and it's our favorite gold to use. The color is. Maybe a mystery. No, rich gold. I've had this one for quite a while. It gotten a lot of uses out of it. First thing I want to make my outside edge dark. Because in theory, it's a rock edge, right? Yeah, no, yeah. Um, I'm using 91% alcohol. You can use any percent. I prefer higher percent because it'll evaporate faster and your inks, in my opinion, will flow better because I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure that the lower the percent of alcohol, that that means it's a higher percent of like water. And you risk some coagulation when you have too high of a percent of water. Cool, 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 tight, tight, tight. I'm gonna drop some gold in just randomly. Oh, I bet it was beautiful, TG. What's up, Sue? Oh, you collect rocks? Then I could be wrong, so you tell me if I'm right. So I'm just going to brush through some of those gold drippy drops. It's a technical term. Just to get those flowing in with my first color I put down. I also like to drip on some alcohol just for some more random movement. I'm going to try to clean this edge up a bit. But dipping my brush in alcohol before I do this will create kind of a pushback of the colorants. Sweet, now we have our rock edge. I'll give you guys a close up. And it's gonna change and move a, a bit. And that's fine. I am planning for that. 
So I pulled some blues and teals for the colors for this piece. Um, let's see, that might be too bright of a blue, but we'll see. Hi, Bobo, you want in your chair? Okay. Ready up? Oh, it's a big boy. Christine, that sounds beautiful. So, uh, this blue is called Persian Blue from Zig. This is Copic Petroleum Blue BG07. Sorry about all the racket. Uh, my windows are open because alcohol. And this is Copic Aqua BG15. I'm also going to use Marabou's Rainbow because it's amazing. This is another one you have to shake basically before every use. So just know that that's a thing. All right. So I'm going to work a dark color inward. So I'm going to put a blue here. And then, oops, that middle tone blue for the petroleum, and then some of the aqua. In between all that, I, I need to do another round of the dark color with some of the gold. Okay. Ugh. Marabou's getting everywhere. So don't put Marabou down till you're ready to use it because it'll kind of dry and stick with because it's got a bonding some kind of bonding situation in it so that it's um, the sparkles don't kind of float away once the alcohol dries. So wherever you put that marabou, you got to move quickly. And I'm just going to kind of be half on my first line and then half not in my first line with every pass. So that we get that layered movement. The gold is rich gold from Jacquard. If you like alcohol inks, these boards are great for that because you don't have to prep them. It's like putting ink on what's that, Tudor? Hey, what size is this? You said 15? 18. Um, it's 18. I'm working my way in. What if I just thought about this? What if you sprinkle glitter or grass or I think if you did that, the uh, <laughs> uh, Vamp may be here, but she was here all day today helping me out, so she may be a little tired. I'm dropping some alcohol down so it re activates our browns.
dabbing off the color after the past is where I don't want to continue moving that color. So since I started in on this greeny aqua color, I kind of dipped off the brush. May not look like the cutest colors right now because it's got that brown paper on the back, but just you wait. You won't have to wait long. I'm almost at the center part. We're going to do a little bit more of this lighter blue color. Hi, Emma Kate. How are you? Yeah, there's Vamp. I don't want too much of the dark blue, so after each pass, I'm cleaning off the brush a bit. Also, I'm alternating which side. Come in on. I feel like I need Maybe I'll just do only marabou. No, I'm not going to do only marabou. That would be crazy. Let's do this medium tone blue. The petroleum, if you will. Tudor. Maybe it needs some gold. As well. Aqua. Sweet. Now let's dry this off. I'm just going to use a heat gun. You can use uh, an embossing gun. I'm just using low heat because I doubt this piece will warp with heat, but I'm not trying to test it. And since it's 91% alcohol, it's going to evaporate fairly quickly. Bowie's good. He is sitting right here next to me. Okay. No. Okay. Now, should I do some more stuff? No. We'll peel the back off and then we'll finish the front. Because I'm not going to resin this. I'm going to make this one matte. So if you were going to resin this, you would not peel this off right now. You would wait and peel it um, after your resin cures. Thank you for the thumbs, everyone. You can 
already tell I'm going to want to add glitter glass to this. Because why? Because glitter glass is life. And it is my personal opinion. Glitter glass belongs on every geode. I still want to say geoid. But geode. Every geode deserves glitter glass. So it looks fun and delicate from the... Okay. It looks fun from the back. No one? Nobody? Mm. Can we give me a piece of paper? Yeah, like this, like a. All right, then I'll just flip this over. It's okay, I just flipped this over. I don't need that paper. I just needed to see what this looked like. Glitter glass is love. Fact, all fact. Loving it. Okay, okay, oh. Okay, <gasps> ooh, should we add some of the new super glitter? I think so, let me go get it. Give up, okay. So this is gonna end up getting everywhere on this piece because it's fresh. Let's go ahead and seal it, actually. If I were... UV archival, where would I be? Right there. Okay. Come here, Bowie. You need to stand upwind of this stuff. There you go. You look beautiful. Good job. So I'm using UV archival from Krylon and Matt. Matt is very important because the gloss version and the satin and all that have alcohol in it. So if you were to spray it, it would reactivate your something, your ink. So this is going to act as a sealant in case someone has this displayed and then they um, do something crazy like drop Everclear on it. You never know. Oh yeah, glitter glass doesn't play. It is beautiful, but uh, it's glass. So if you don't uh, respect the glitter glass, it will bite you. Just a little heads up there because I learned the hard way. I have a birch board that I primed with house paint. Can I do ink on it now or resin it first? You'll get better results if you put a coat of resin down first and let it cure for a few days. Um, if you work quickly with inks, you could use gloss spray paint. Make sure that dries for a day at least. Um, Bowie, if you're really good with I think it was Tudor. I know. I think he touched a box that made, sounded like he was knocking. If you're really good with spray gesso, use spray gesso and sand with uh, 400. A couple coats. Thank you for tuning in, Tom. Yeah, you could totally do foil behind it. Unless you really like that side instead of this side. 
All right. Hey, Deb Tucker. Um, this is not a mold. This is a freeform geode shape that is cut from cast acrylic. And you can get them on our website in this exact shape. I don't know if I have this shape currently posted. All right. Seems like we're fairly dry. So we're going to use our super ultra awesome rainbow halo glitter, a.k.a. Oak Lawn. Oh, it does kind of look like the outer edge is variegated gold leaf, but it's not. It is alcohol ink sorcery. All right. Let me see if my sticky pen works. Looks like it currently is working. So where do we want to add our oak lawn glitter? I think for sure around the center. I like using that matte archival spray on inks when it's on something like this cast acrylic because then it just looks frosted and I love a frosted glass look. Maybe it's just me, and that's fine, but I love it. Sticky pen, check. So I'm going to bring you guys down a bit. Turn the flash on so we can see what we're doing. Um, cool. Now I need my this and a something. A this. This looks good. Hello, 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 everyone. Just dust this in here. I love this glitter so much. And if you are new here, you may not know that this is the best glitter on the earth. It lays in perfect rainbow shape. I don't know how, don't ask me, I don't understand the sorcery. However, I know that it's a thing. It's actually a glitter powder I have discovered. And I didn't know that that was a thing. Turns out it's a thing. It doesn't take much. It's the same jar I've been using since when I first discovered this stuff was a thing. See how it kind of lays in a rainbow? It's like green, blue on one side of it, but the rainbow moves. Look at that. If you guys ever watch the show How It's Made, I want them to do this glitter on How It's Made. I don't care about sprockets. And those things, I want to know how this is made. Why does it work? No one knows. I mean, I'm sure someone knows. I don't know. But I'm going to dust this glitter out just a little bit. Just so it doesn't look like it's a hard stop. Uh, I feel like it needs to be somewhere else as well. I'm going to use this skinnier sticky pen or a glue gel pen if it'll work. We'll see if it works. I don't know. 
We'll see, I guess. Looks like it's going to work. Let's see. Hi, Betty. I'm leaving for the beach tomorrow. I'm jealous. Hope you have an awesome time. Listen, I'm a waste not want not type of gal, so I'm just trying to pick up some of this. Doesn't look like I have that much in there, so. If I had patience, I could have waited a bit longer to add this glitter where um, the substrate itself wouldn't be quite so tacky. And my lines would be cleaner. But I don't have patience, especially not when it comes to glitter, because glitter is what? Always an option. This line may be so fine that it's not even noticeable, but we'll know. Can end up being an all over kind of sparkle, and that's okay. Trying to dust all the excess off. I'm not going to get it all off because I'm impatient, but you get the idea. You got that fine line of rainbow there. How? Oh, how does it work? Someone tell me science stuff. Look, it's like a little rainbow caterpillar. So nice. So you can get that glitter on my website as well, artistildeath.com. Should we do another line? Hello, hello, hello. Right? The sparkle all over. Totally cool. Um, Emma Kate, I believe it is um, makeup grade because of the particle size. You would just have to have a really awesome eyeshadow primer to get it to look even, which isn't like impossible to get a good eyeshadow primer. 
Okay, we'll do one more line. I think I'm going to bring one out here through this bit. Just had to charge my sticky pen real quick. We'll have that one and then follow it up with a fine line. Trying to kind of look at the line from the side so I can see where it is. Thank you, Gail. Thank you, Deb. All right. Let's add a little bit more sparkle. I'm tapping it on instead of brushing it on since I'm kind of rushing the, adhes the adhesive that I'm using. If you just go in there and, like, brush it and your adhesive isn't dry, you're going to smear your line. So if you're impatient, just use the dab technique. Unless you like swipey lines. And in that case, do you. Once you have it all covered, then you can kind of burnish. Mm, I don't know if that's the appropriate word. I'm not going to say rub it in because. Rub it in good. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's one reason. Mm -hmm. Make sure, make sure. So. Once you kind of think that your glitter is set on your adhesive, you can dust the rest of it away. Sticky pens tend to dry more quickly than like typical sizing. So I use those a lot. <clears throat> There you have it. If Elsa was a geode and she wanted you to let it go, she would look like this. I need to know how it works. Mm -hmm. Let's be honest, I could have probably done a geo that was just all oak lawn glitter and it would, um, I would probably still like it. Thank you, Deb Tucker. So now my follow up question is how come it reflects always in a rainbow? So I just get my sticky pins from Amazon. If you look down in the description box, you'll see an Amazon link. That is my affiliate link with Amazon. And I have them listed in there, should be. Well, Emma Kate, I hope I have inspired you. As always, I hope that I've inspired you, educated you, or entertained you for the time that you are with me. And I hope you get out there and try this out. I don't know if this shape of geode is on the website yet, but um, I don't, because 
I think all that's on there is the the um I have 18 inch ones on there, but they're the longer ones instead of the more round ones. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed the video, share it. If you didn't enjoy it, share it with people that you don't like, ruin their day. And um, as always, I'll give you guys some Bowie bows. Hi, Bobo. What are you doing? Yeah. Are you being lazy boy? Tim lazy boy. Oh, okay, okay. Such a precious boy. Mama knows. I know. Oh, okay. Don't roll all the way off, big boy. Come on. Oop. That's Bowie's uh, Boance fan. He loves to stand in front of it. That's where he is all day, every day of the days. And yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching, seeing what I'm up to today. I will be at Rhonda's this weekend, so the lives will be dictated by Jeffrey, unless Rhonda somehow gets a magic, something that makes her Wi-Fi better. Um, I got Tudor here putting orders out. I got some fire sale orders out today. If yours hasn't shipped yet, it will be going out super ASAP. So apologies for the delay on that. We've been hella busy. Um, my pleasure, Shane. I will try to go live with Rhonda. Ooh, I would love to go live on my channel with Rhonda while I'm down there. So I'll try to make that happen. So y'all are awesome. We love you guys so, so much. Be kind to one another. You never know what someone's going through. So you don't have to. Y'all are amazing. And we'll see you guys uh, on the next video. Bye. Bowie, did you say bye? Bobo, hey, did you say bye? No, you just want to keep your butt in the fan? It's cool, it's cool.